Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on Spring. Here we are going to discuss about the Spring terminology, types of Spring and application of Spring. First we see the definition. The primary function of Spring is to deflect or distort under the action of applied load and it recovers its original shape when the load is released. Normally springs are energy absorbing units. It acts as a, a device to store the energy and to restore it slowly or rapidly. It depends on the application. Important types of spring are helical spring, spiral spring and leaf spring. First we see helical spring. The helical springs are made of wire coiled into a helical form. The load being applied on the axis of helix due to which the spring gets compressed. And there are a, a major stress which are uh, developed in the spring which is torsional shear stress may be due to the twisting action of a spring. They are both used in uh, tension and compression type. Next one is spiral springs. The spiral springs are made of flat strip of metal wound in the form of spiral and are loaded in the torsion. The helical springs are of used in both the tension and the compression type. The spiral springs are loaded in the form of a torsion. The third one is the difference between the closed coil and a open coil helical spring. The sketch shows both the cases. The first one is open coiled helical spring where we find the distance between the coils. So every coil is having its own uh, gap between them and there are certain turns, number of turns. And when we look at the second sketch and the third sketch, uh, this is an example for closed coil helical spring. In second sketch, uh, we can find a minimum length between uh, the coils. That is the gap between the coil is somewhat minimum. So it is called closed coil helical spring. But in the third case, uh, we couldn't find the gap between the coils. So this is the case of a closed coil helical spring. Both open coil and closed coil helical springs are used in a different applications. Uh, moving further, this is a nomenclature of a spring where uh, we can see the mean diameter, then wire diameter the pitch, helix angle or coil angle, then free length. The free length is defined as the length when the spring is not in the loaded form. The length means it is measured in axial direction. Then pitch, it is nothing but a gap or distance between the adjacent coils. In case of uh, open coil helical spring, the pitch value is higher. In case of uh, closed coil helical spring, the pitch value is uh, very, very minimum. And when we look at the second sketch, uh, before application of load, the helical spring is of a certain length which is called free length. When the load is applied on the spring axially, then the coils are compressed to certain extent and the compression is called deformation which is indicated here as a delta. 
further application of load which make the coils closer together with adjacent coils but uh, here uh, we cannot find the uh, distance or a gap between the adjacent one so at this case the axial height is called the solid length or compressed solid length so this will happen when the load is the maximum or at the uh, maximum point so this is the way we can uh, categorize the the spring uh, free length and the compressed solid length after removal of load then it can regain its original shape and position that is why it act as a energy storing member whenever required and after application it releases the energy the next is a leaf spring it is composed of a flat bar of varying length but the cross section is same the length is varying all are clamped together so as to obtain a greater efficiency uh, it may be of uh, full elliptic or semi elliptic or cantilever type in this type of spring the major stress which come into picture are both tensile and compressive so this type of spring are used in automobile suspension system here at the two ends uh, we can see the i end and the first leaf is called master leaf and next to master leaf we have uh, graduated leaves of different length all are clamped by a clip called a rebound clip then at the center the central clamp is positioned and this is uh, fixed at the axle where the uh, unsprung weight is on the spring and next the distance vertical distance between the eye and the master leaf is called camber and the distance between i to i left i to right i is called the span which is twice the top length 2l moving further uses of springs we can find many application for a spring to apply forces and to control motion in brakes and clutches to measure the forces as a spring balance to store the energy in clock spring to reduce the effect of shock or impact loading as in carriage spring to change the vibrating characteristic of a member as a inflexible mounting of motors so these are all the uses of uh, springs either in case of a uh, leaf spring or helical spring or spiral spring depends on the application we may use these kind of springs the next characteristics of a spring or uh, we can say the requirements any spring or an ideal spring uh, material has high strength property high elastic limit and low modulus because of a uh, resilient structure designed to undergo large deflection the spring material must have properties of extensive elastic range and it should have a hardness and durability the spring steel can support a heavy load without a breaking additionally it can withstand the weather and tear over a long period of time next property or a character is elasticity so the elasticity 
the steel spring steel can be formed or shaped or post heat treated without losing its shape so the main uh, uh, characteristics involved in case of spring is uh, uh, spring constant uh, sometimes it is called uh, stiffness it measures the efficiency of the spring or effectiveness of the spring so for a good uh, spring it should have a durability then hardness and elasticity it should withstand uh, uh, the load with extensive elastic property then only it can uh, be designed to undergo the large deflections a uh, moving on the materials required for a manufacture of spring it is generally made of hardened steel the spring manufacturer has an option using either pre hardened steel before forming the spring or they can also harden the spring after formation process both are possible so before manufacturing it can be hardened and then it is wound in a form. before forming the spring they can also harden the spring after formation process spring in series if two springs are of a different uh, stiffness or join end on the carry a common load w they are said to be connected in series and the combined stiffness of deflection are given by the equations if two springs are connected uh, in series then the common load w is acting on a spring then the stiffness a deflection can be found by w by k which will be equal to x1 plus x2 then x1 is equal to deflection which is w by k 1 plus w by k 2 it this may be rewritten as 1 by k is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 so this is the equation which is used to found the stiffness and the other case the springs are connected in parallel if two springs are joined in such a way that they have common deflection x then they are said to be connected in parallel then the total load w equal w1 plus w2 then x will be equal w by k w1 by k1 and w1 by k2 both are having same deflection since these two springs are connected with the common load then the total load will be equal w1 plus w2 and the stiffness will be equal to sum of these individual stiffness k1 and k2 thank you thank you for listening